Ball's Day in this, right? Well, no. I can't believe he thrown that at me. No. Covered in sand. But I know what you mean about the vests uh, going up. You all fitting okay? Yeah. Looks nice on you. Good. It's a junior, by the way. Look how far out we are. Gosh, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the kayak's got quite a lot of water in it. Yeah, you can see there's. God! I don't have a strap. Well, let me, let me just pedal then. Okay. Sylvia just sends us round in circles. <laughs> I don't have a strap. We're facing the opposite way to where I want to be again. Which way do I need to go? <laughs> <laughs> what me do you I'm so sorry to Simon tomorrow. Okay. I feel sorry to you tomorrow. Right. Hold on, the stick's that way. <laughs> oh, oh, you got sun tan here. Eh? I got some sun spray if you need any because of the sun. Mm -hmm. You're doing well. Yeah, other than oh, I just needed the break. Oh, I got us quite far. And then I got shattered. I feel like we're facing the opposite way again. So guys, we finally got our kayak out on the water. It's been a long time coming. It's been sat in the back of the car for weeks. We've either had storms or terrible weather. I mean, today's not great. It is torrential rain early, it's black clouds. We do have our ponchos where there's not on us right now. But well, we've got wetsuits, so we'll be fine. The only thing is, this wetsuit's choking me. So guys, we're just letting the um, the kayak dry off a little bit. I did bring a towel with me, but the thing is with this beach, it hasn't really had much chance to dry out because when we got here a couple of hours ago, the tide was right the way in. All this here, probably two hours ago, was underwater by a few inches. But yeah, we're gonna just have a, a bit of a tidy up now. Uh, this is probably the worst part of, of uh, the kayaking, especially at the beach because the kayak's soaking wet, covered in sand. Sylvia's just gonna take stuff back to the car. She's gonna come back to me after. And then when we get back home, we're gonna have to 
wash it all down let it let it dry off properly probably leave it till tonight outside it's going to be something we're going to do more of in the future some kayaking videos good for exercise as well i mean it's it's tiring work especially when you're out there at the waves it's tiring so let me know if there's anywhere you can think of anywhere you want me to go i've already got a few ideas of, of where i'm going to go but i know you need to get a license for a lot of the the rivers and canals so that's why we've come to the sea today actually hang this up somewhere i mean we have got a lot of room in this garden and obviously we're all under the roof now so it's good but i think what i'm gonna have to do is maybe attach a couple of hooks somewhere maybe in the corners and just hang the kayak straight across pose it and let it dry because i've got the bench out here and a chair and it's kind of it's not easy and it, i don't think it's going to dry very quick it is quite cold and also I've got to turn it over after and do the other side so it's becoming a pain of, of a job so long term I mean we're not going to begin the beach all the time with it lakes rivers this isn't going to be a problem this needs a, a proper clean because of the ocean and the and the sand and it's proving to be quite difficult in the backyard to clean off it doesn't help that it's a cold day and it is raining as well but everything hung up here these won't take so long but thing is with these is they can be put in that could be put in the shower all this could be put in the shower in fact but as for that it's a little bit too big okay so it's currently the next day of course you saw me yesterday trying to clean the kayak off and it stayed very wet now last night just like today actually it's freezing cold of course we're getting closer and closer to winter but it is bitterly cold I've got wet suits upstairs that are trying to fin finish off drying off and I've got this kayak fully inflated and last night it spent spent all the last night almost touching the ceiling and then going right down to the back door it's got to be 11 11 feet long maybe something like this something that I wanted to do yesterday that I didn't get round to doing when we were kayaking was actually sticking this this gopro sticky pad on the front of the boat hopefully it sounds a lot better now by the way i've got the mic on and that's the only thing with the gopro when i'm on the water i can't use this external mic so it might sound it might sound pretty bad and this gopro is taking an absolute pound in these days i mean all inside the lens like right in the lip of the lens it's all sandy sandy underneath it's getting covered just wondering whether to inflate it first or not or maybe just stick it there i don't know what does everyone reckon? I can stick it there because it kind of goes rounded like that. Maybe there. I do have some pieces that I can actually, if I put that on there, I've got a piece that twists that around so the GoPro can be sitting basically at the front of the, of the kayak. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll leave it for now. I'm not sure. I don't know what to do. But yeah, cleaning it out after the sea was a pain in the arse. I'm not gonna lie, cleaning it out after being in the sea. I mean, look, there's still sand on it, and it's just like gritty now. I think that's, is that sand that's caught inside it there? So that's actually inside the chamber that inflates. Oh, no, 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 I see that's water in there. This is what I'm saying, like, it gets everywhere. And you can see now, it's, it's sand. Hair dryer job, maybe? I just don't know. It's all trial and error, guys. I've never done anything like this before. I've never kayaked. Never owned a kayak or a canoe. I mean, with it being like this plasticky material, of course, I've got to make sure it is dry. Now, I think I've actually got all the water out of there. It feels quite dry. So, guys, I've fixed one of my GoPro sticky pads on here. I don't know how sticky they are. I mean, it feels very, very, very stuck on. But these things are actually designed for motorbike and bicycle helmets. But I've deflated... I well, currently am deflating this thing. It's still a bit wet inside. It's just water gets everywhere, man. I think once it's inflated though like this, it's a lot easier. Last night, originally, I let the thing down and then I was trying to, trying to wipe it. But I think the key is to have it up because then you can sort of get in a bit better. And then you can kind of like part 
these pieces. I mean, obviously don't have it all the way up because then you've got a bit of play and you can sort of run your towels along in all these little areas. And I do want it to be completely dry because I don't want to bring it out in a few weeks and it can get damaged because of the wet or moldy. But yeah. So I think this first time out on the kayak, I believe it, it went really well in all honesty. The one thing we didn't do is take the little, there's like a little see-through ruler that you're supposed to put against somewhere around here. You see there, Luke? you've got these little ruler things and there's one just on the, the gray bit. Now it tells you to only put it to a certain PSI, but that little plastic see-through ruler thing doesn't kind of line up, so I'm not sure, but it does say max one PSI. Is that a law? I'm not really sure. We, we just kind of did it by feel. One thing I did notice is when Sylvia sat at the front and I sat at the back, the middle bowed slightly. So I kind of shifted myself forward, but it's all a part of learning at the end of the day. If I'm using this on my own, which I very much will be at some point, I'll just sit in the middle and I should imagine that'd be okay. Should I pump it up more? I don't know. This is little things it's little things like this that I'm going to be learning over the next coming months. We're going to have to buy like one of them big kayak rucksacks and I think we've seen them for like £50. They're not, not too bad for what they are. They're giant, giant things as well. 